Aloha everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we'll be talking about Elemental Workshop 5, 6, and 7 that was briefly talked about in this year's Epic Jam. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Yes, is the illus. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, this is something that Mod Raleigh is also working on. He's the J mod that's working on the previous update I covered, the player own lake. So he briefly talked about it. Not a whole lot to go on, so this video is going to be pretty short, but let's jump into it. So Mod Raleigh is actually coming off the back of some puzzles that he did in some other upcoming updates. So he planned on taking up something for this particular quest series, the Elemental Workshop series. He did say that he's trying to design the first puzzle for the fifth quest in the series having a little bit of trouble there but that's where he's at but he does plan on having these puzzles much less obnoxious compared to say elemental workshop 3 which was very convoluted and probably the most infamous puzzle in the entire game so they're not going to be that horrible and hopefully that does make them enjoyable from a gameplay perspective it is one of the most love it or hate it quest series i would say so hopefully if you make fun puzzles that aren't so obnoxious you know you'll have less people in the hate it category. So each new quest in the series is going to cover two new runes as you would expect based on the trend from Elemental Workshop 4. So the fifth one will cover Astral and Nature runes, the sixth Law and Death, and then the final seventh Blood and Soul. That will make a total of six puzzles, two for each quest. Another main goal for Mod Rally with this update is he wants to make the armor that you receive from the game have some kind of place within the meta. Give it some kind a good benefit that gives people a reason to actually complete this quest series as opposed to just doing it for the sake of quest cape or for anybody who's a puzzle lover out there there's something a little bit more worthwhile in the form of the armor sets they also want to go back and look at the previous armor sets so even if they decide to not pick up these sequels right away it could be possible that the lower level pieces that are currently already in game could also get some good benefits however considering that it is low level they're not going to be particularly particularly amazing but the idea is if they do go this route hopefully it'll encourage players to want more and then it'll push those sequels to the forefront or make them more of a priority for Jagex at least. So that's pretty much it for what was discussed regarding the sequels to Elemental Workshop. He did say at the end that his hope for the two week epic jam was to have made at least the first two puzzles, the prototypes for those, as well as having an overall plan for the whole series. So we'll see by the end of the game jam where he gets off on that. Let me know what you guys think about the Elemental Workshop series as a whole. What do you think about these potential sequels? As I said, I'm pretty sure it is a love it or hate it type of quest. So do let me know what you guys think about it with that I'm gonna wrap up the video if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related Then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha